Hey guys, welcome back. I want to talk about uh, using pandas in order to uh, basically transform or pivot columns into rows in a you know very simple, straightforward type of way. So uh, the first thing that I need to do is actually grab a data set so that I can uh, illustrate in this example. And your data set is going to be, uh, I hopefully, uh, I imagine a little similar. So uh, I actually downloaded this data set from Data World, and here's a link: Data World slash Data Data hyphen Society. Uh, slash IMDb hyphen 5000 hyphen movie hyphen data set and uh, so <clears throat> I downloaded locally and I actually saved it in this folder relative to this uh, Python notebook uh, in the data folder and uh, the mo the excuse me the the file name is movie uh, metadata uh, .csv. so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my pandas uh, library and if you don't have pandas installed um, you can do it one of two ways in your terminal simply type pipe install and then pandas uh, and if you're doing it through your Jupyter Notebook, you can simply add um, an exclamation point to the front and that'll take care of it. And you can run that. All right, so anyways, uh, so I've imported pandas and now I'm gonna read in my data. And as I mentioned, I saved it in my data folder and this is the file name. And I'm gonna preview the first two records, see what that looks like. Um, so I, you can see I have a lot of columns. And so I'm gonna take the, um, the actor's name. So there's like multiple actor names in this particular file. Uh, there are a lot of rows in here and as you can see this lip signals that uh, like the middle part of the rows are kind of like hidden from the preview uh, but there are definitely a lot of uh, a lot of rows excuse me so let's go ahead and actually uh, take a look at the columns and if I want to do that I can type uh, the data frame dot columns the data frame name dot columns uh, to get a list of the columns but I'm also going to sort this in sort this in alphabetical order so I'm going to close it in uh, a sorted function or method and since this is really you know a list uh, you can apply a sort, a sort to it so I'm gonna run that and now I see that I have like three fields of interest right actor one name actor two name and actor three name so if I get that for every single movie I'm gonna create a variable so I'm gonna just call the calls for columns and I'm gonna say movie title uh, like this um, variable here or this column and then actor one name and do the same for actor two and three Oops. ah sorry guys and here we go actor three and so this is like the subset of columns that I want and so I'm saving this like in the list just so I can access these columns a little easier so I'm gonna say movie data and then pass in just the, the subset of columns that I want and you know preview like the first um, few records of that here the first three okay so nice I have you know kind of a very succinct list um, of columns here that I'm that I'm interested in movie title actor one name actor two name and actor three name and so what I want to do I want to transpose uh, these three columns so that my data looks it, it'll read like this it'll say movie title avatar CCH Ponder, and then the next record Avatar, Joel David Moore, and the next in the next row Avatar West uh, Studio or Study, however you pronounce his name, and then so on for like the second and third rows, right? So in order to accomplish this, um, I'm gonna have to do one, you know, a couple of things here. It's like first of all, um, this index here that we see by default, I'm gonna have to uh, create or make this movie title the index. So I'm gonna do that by typing set index and then uh, the column name, which is movie title. And again, I'll just stick to like, you know, looking at the first, uh, you know, five records here. And so as you can see here, now this index is replaced by movie title. So movie title is my new index. And of course, like these fields stay the same after one, two, and three. So uh, that's step one. Uh, the next step is to actually stack this information. So like, what does that mean? That's actually kind of when you're transposing. Uh, so now you're making, uh, we're gonna basically uh, make the avatar repeat three times and then CCH Pounder, Joel's, and Wes, uh, Wes's names are going to be in the next columns. And so let's take a look at what that, uh, what that is, or what that looks like. So, um, you know, we set index, right? And we're not saving anything uh, to the data frame just yet. That's why we're doing this over and over. Um, and now we're going to chain the stack method, okay? So we're going to say stack. And again, let's preview like the first five records. So like, what does that look like? Uh, here we go. Again, um, since movie title is our index, it feels no need to repeat. It's just implied that this is, um, you know, repeated uh, over and over. 
And like now we have like the first record, actor name one, uh, and then CCH Pounder, actor name two, Joel David Moore, actor three, West Studi. And again, this is at the row level. So we basically brought down the field columns or excuse, the field names or the columns uh, down to the row level. So it's like we're pivoting, right? Or transposing if, you, if you're more familiar with Excel. And so like now that you have that information, okay, we're gonna chain one more thing uh, to this. And we're gonna say stack, uh, after stack, excuse me, we're gonna reset the index. And so like now we have like a very clean and crisp, um, you know, repeating uh, set of data, you know, without like these blank lines that we can export, then export like to a CSV, for example. So we run that and now our data frame looks as follows. Uh, and again, we're not making any permanent changes. We're just doing this on the fly. Um, so like now we have movie, uh, excuse me, movie title. And then of course, actor one, two, three, and the movie title repeats three times. And then like the, the uh, actor's names are listed here. So, you know, we basically transpose this data. And if we want to, we can do a couple of things. You know, we can just assign it to another data frame. We can say, just say data frame equals, and then, you know, kind of what we did above here. And like this data frame is only gonna, you know, hold, let's say 10 records. It'll hold what we assigned it to in the head. Um, and so we we'll type DF, run that. And it has like 10 records here. Um, and then of course, you know, uh, or we can, you know, just once we do that, we can export it to CSV and you know just give it a local file name you know just whatever your file name is dot csv and so on and it'll like, just export to csv and you'll have it available as a csv um and yeah that's pretty much it you know um you know i, I encourage you to play a little more uh with this um you know if you're def if you're interested with your own data just kind of like pivoting and transposing uh your information as needed thank you for watching